हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर बैक विथ अनदर टॉपिक एंड दिस टॉपिक इज माइग्रेन एंड हेडेक्स वाई इज दिस इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज माइग्रेन एंड हेडेक्स आर वेरी कॉमन दे अफेक्ट अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल बोथ मैन एंड वुमेन अनफॉर्चुनेटली यंग पीपल आर मोर अफेक्टेड सो इफ यू लुक एट द एज ग्रुप टिपिकली टकर्स इन पीपल हु आर से फिफ्टीन टू फोर्टी फाइव ईयर्स एज ग्रुप एंड एज यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट इज द मोस्ट प्रोडक्टिव एज ग्रुप because that is when people have to study hard then get into the jobs so it adversely impacts all these activities and if you look at the most common cause for headache and that is migraine so just a few words about migraine first so migraine is more common in women and uh, it is more common in women from the time of menarche that is when the periods begin and till menopause so this makes us believe that there could be hormonal basis and one more reason to suspect hormonal basis is that many women with migraine they have worsening of headaches just before their periods so one or two days before periods and then during the first one or two or three days of the periods they have increased severity of migraines or headaches now what are these migraines how do we diagnose so the best news about diagnosis is that it doesn't need any blood test there is no need for doing any brain scan with the help of symptoms we can come to a diagnosis so what are the classical or the most common symptoms of migraine of course there has to be headache typical migraines they have headaches on only one side either left side or right side but common migraines it can affect the entire head the pain can be in the front of the head the sides back of head and sometimes even the shoulders and it can you know be in the face also sometimes eyes behind the eyes so all these parts can be affected the second important point is that the type of headache so many people describe the headache as throbbing type pulsating type or squeezing it is very severe headache because it uh, you know incapacitates the person the person is not able to engage in any routine work or studies they just need to lie down or take rest to get relief from the headaches so it is a severe type of headache and the headache typically lasts for more than 4 hours so if someone has a headache which uh, stops on its own without any medication in 30 minutes then it may not be migraine so migraine headaches go beyond 4 hours and up to 72 hours so that is a typical duration of the headache episode of migraine along with headaches there could be additional symptoms what are they so it can be nausea that is feeling of vomiting actual vomiting then there is a term called as photophobia so they don't tolerate bright lights that is photophobia so any bright light or going to sunlight even the noise they don't like talking to people even if the music is very soothing they don't enjoy the music so they want to lie down in a very very quiet room peaceful surroundings without talking to anyone with lights completely switched off and that is what gives them relief so with this presence of these symptoms one can diagnose migraine so as you saw it is not it doesn't require any investigations so you know so, so today i have discussed about the main symptoms of migraine some types of migraine they have another symptom called as aura so aura is something which happens say 10 or 15 minutes before the actual headache begins and the most common type of aura is called visual aura in that the person can have zigzag lines or you know sometimes flashes of light on one side or both sides and then after 10 15 minutes on the same side the headache begins and then gradually it goes up so that is called visual aura sometimes rarely people can also have tingling or numbness on one side that is sensory aura sometimes some sounds can be heard that is auditory aura so this is a migraine with aura is also one of the types of migraines and uh, few patients with migraine they can have dizziness or vertigo where they have a sense of rotation and that is called as vestibular migraine or migraine associated with vertigo so that is another thing to keep in mind and and some people with migraine they can only have visual symptoms and no headaches at all so these are some rare types of migraine you should keep in mind and if you have any symptoms like this consult a doctor and then uh, because see people with migraine did not suffer because there are excellent treatments uh, for migraine available 
and which I'll be discussing in my next video. So, but for now, I hope you have learned, you know, something about migraine symptoms, how common they are, and how we can diagnose. Thank you.